Now, this is basically the decimal expansion, a case where the remainder starts repeating itself. So you have been asked to find the decimal expansion of 14 by 11. So to do this, we will divide 14 by 11. And just to make the things easier, I'm going to write the remainder as it comes out over here. So 11 times 1 gives you 11. When you subtract 11 from 14, what you get is 3. Now since 3 is less than 11, so we just add a point here and I get a 0. Then 11 times 2, okay, and 3 was my remainder, so I'm just writing it here. 11 times 2 gives me 22. When I subtract 22 from 30, I get 8. Okay, so 8 is the remainder. I just write 8 over here. Again, add a 0. 11 times 7 gives me 77. When I subtract 77 from 80, I get 3. Okay, and 3 is the remainder, so I just put in 3 over here again. Again, a 0. Right, 30. So 11 times 2 gives me 22. I subtract 30 from 30, 22, and I get 8. 8 is the remainder. Right? Now again, add a 0 over here. 11 times 7 gives you 77. Subtract this from this, the remainder is 3. So what I am noticing here is that every time I do this, I am getting 3 and 8 as a remainder, 3 and 8 as a remainder, and 3 and 8 as a remainder. So basically, my remainders, a set of remainders, have actually started repeating. So what is repeating over here? It's 3 and 8. So the set of remainders has started repeating. And if that be the case, then whatever is the quotient, we just stop dividing over there. Because our quotient actually becomes our decimal expansion. Right? In this case, if you notice, 27 is the number which is repeating itself. So we can also write it as 1.27 and put in a bar over both 2 and 7 taken together. So please note, 1.27 is wrong. Even 1.27 is wrong. What is correct is you put 27 together and then put a bar over these two numbers together.